Hello everybody. So this is a case of deep sclerectomy. We decided to perform uh, this procedure in a patient who is known to have congenital glaucoma. He is nine years old and uh, uh, he's one eyed and he lost the other eye because of the advanced uh, absolute glaucoma of the other eye. So uh, as usual, we started with a tractional suture to expose uh, the area of uh, dissection and peritomy and after good hemostasis and debridement uh, we started to fashion the superficial flap uh, for about four by five millimeter then we started uh, fashioning the uh, superficial flap by uh, creating the horizontal incision by the super sharp followed by the crescent knife uh, dissecting uh, the area in a, a circular manner uh, in a bucket like uh, fashion and then we can uh, cut the edges uh, of the flap and then here we are uh, then we can apply the mitomycin C to the area I like to use the uh, uh, syringe uh, to inject the mitomycin directly to the area and uh, it's okay to put uh, a piece of sponge to the bit of the flap uh, to expose the area more uh, of the mitomycin solution and then we can irrigate the area with the balanced salt solution and uh, uh, keep it dry afterwards for future dissection the superficial flap has to be uh, advanced towards the cornea for about one or two millimeter and then uh, we can hold the superficial flap by the traction sutures and keep it wet uh, all the way. Afterwards, we can uh, increase the magnification of the microscope to see the details uh, of dissection uh, of the deep flap. Uh, deep flap usually dissected uh, for about uh, one or maybe half millimeter away from the superficial flap borders and then we can carry on dissecting the deep flap uh, starting from one of the corners deep enough to the choroidal level and it's quite important of course to maintain the level of dissection all the way towards uh, the area of expected uh, trabeculo uh, location and uh, this is important for future uh, filtration and here and at this point it's very important to avoid any sharp instrumentations and we can switch to like for example uh, dry wexels to uh, bluntly dissecting this area and simply if you still have some fibers on the sides of the filtration area you can simply cut them with the uh, super sharp uh, in order to expand uh, the area of the tropical decimates window here as you may notice we have a very good filtration and uh, the patient actually has a uh, high IOP uh, before the surgery and then after we are already satisfied with the filtration we can cut uh, the deep flap uh, with a scissor from its base and it's uh, again very important not to leave any stump uh, to the to the flap otherwise it can limit the filtration or block the tropical decimates window and uh, affect the filtration in the future and here simply we just close the superficial flap with a tin on nylon uh, in both corners we just keep it loose uh, just to avoid any uh, collapse of the flap and uh, may cause limitation of the filtration in the future and uh, uh, as you may notice we didn't implant any space maintainer implants uh, because we believe in such a hyperactive child it's uh, good to avoid any implants uh, because there is always risk of uh, migration or dislocation uh, during uh, eye rubbings or uh, activities 
After that, we close the conjunctiva on one side with a running suture and uh, one anchoring suture to the other side if needed. I like doing non-penetrating glaucoma surgeries in general and deep sclerectomy in particular because I believe that the advantage of being extraocular doing these procedures uh, can lower the rate of complications either intraoperative or even postoperatively. So we have uh, very good outcomes in these procedures and the patients recover very quickly if we compare these procedures to other glaucoma uh, surgeries. Thanks for watching.